Have yourself a merry little Christmas. You know Christmas is coming when you notice a few days before all the streets taking on a colorful look. From now on, this tradition of Christmas blossoms not only with fun and celebration, but brings with it faith, hope, and love. And have yourself a merry little Christmas now. Hello and welcome to the Foodie. I'm Kunal Vijayka. Yes, it's Christmas season all over the world, and that's exactly what we're celebrating on the Foodie. Come along. I'm at Food Hall at Palladium, and for me, this place is what a toy shop is for a kid because there is so much of food over here. Yes, let's start this Christmas episode with a quick stroll into food hall. Let's have a look at the goodies, cook up some food and then eat. Come along. Right, all these sweets look quite nice and quite exciting. Let's check out what they have over here. I love this little cupcake. I'm gonna try one of this. This big fella. Let's go for it. Try one. <laughs> How do I eat it? Mm. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Merry Christmas, what can I say? <laughs> So before we get to the live kitchen, I think we should meet Chef Rahul. Chef? Hello, hello sir. How are you? Good, okay sir. Chef, I've seen your live kitchen yeah. and I'm dying to know what you're going to make for us today. Uh, sir, today we are doing pumpkin shepherd pie. It's like a basic pumpkin which is available in the market. It's very tasty. It will be topped with the mashed potatoes. It will be creamy, it will be soft, it will be mouth melting. Chalo, let's go okay. and make. Let's go. We'll put some olive oil. So this is olive oil has been infused yes. with garlic. For the flavors, chopped garlic. Some white onions. We're going to saute it. Great. So now we'll put some carrot in it, into it. Some beans we have here. Some broccoli. Just to give the coloring and just to make it more healthy. Okay. So broccoli will help. Saute it for about two to three minutes. Now we'll add the pumpkin. This much will be more than enough. Pumpkin is about 500 grams. About 500 grams. Yes, 500 grams of pumpkin. Now all this is raw. That means this yes. needs to cook properly. Yes. Yeah? So we will just keep it about about five to six minutes to five cook to it properly. Okay. Yes. Okay, the pumpkin is now beginning to soften slightly. As you can see, it is uh, reducing okay. and the flavors are coming out Great. very nicely, mm. very smoky. So on this stage, we don't have to cook the pumpkin more because what will happen, we have to bake it also. So oh, correct, this is, correct, has correct. to be done about uh, uh, 50 to 60 percent of cooking in the pan and okay. the rest will cook in the uh, oven. So on this stage, we ah. should uh, add some of the bechamel sauce. Superb. So now you can see it's giving the consistency, the color is perfect. The baking dish. Baking dish. So now this is ready. Okay. So upper layer will be the mashed potatoes. Okay. That's how the shepherd pie will go. Traditionally and it classic. has to go traditionally classic, classically. Great. So this is now mashed potato. Now the mashed potato is done. Some chopped parsley. 
Okay, so this is now going to go into the oven. Now this is what I call a great beginning to a Christmas feast. Yes, food hall at Palladium and I'm about to dig in. Let's see what we have on the table. We've got this wonderful pumpkin shepherd's pie. We've got the cookies, that's Christmas gingerbread, cream filled cookies, a nice, nice cheese platter over here. And we've got a variety of baklava over here, straight from Turkey. Where shall I start from? I'm gonna start from the shepherd's pie. Mmm. It's very nice. It's a wonderful alternative if you don't eat meat. It's tasty, it's creamy, it's Christmassy. And the pumpkin gives it a really nice flavor, a bit of garlic in it, and that mashed potato, parmesan, is great. Now, for some dessert. Baklava, the way it should be. Nice and flaky, sweet, crunchy, rich. And to top up this Christmas, we need a nice gingerbread man, a nice Christmas tree, a nice star, all ginger cookies with a filling of cream. Mmm. Mmm. Great. This has been a fine, fine beginning to this Christmas episode and to this Christmas season. I think this is all great. Superb. Now this is with the best compliments from all of us, from Food Hall people to you. Merry Christmas, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Look at these wonderful breads that Chef Rahul has given me. Chef, thank you so much. Thank you. Merry Christmas much, to you. Thank yeah. You. Same to you, sir. And I am now heading on to my next journey. <laughs>
very very interesting this is little bit of salt and little sugar little sugar fresh pepper parsley sauce is ready okay chicken ready sauce is ready now we're going to saute the vegetables Very little garlic. Time. A mixture of lovely, lovely vegetables. Got a bit of mushroom, zucchini, broccoli, peppers. Little bit of salt. And pepper. Freshly crushed. Stock for chicken. Great. So we've got our chicken grilled and ready. We've got a sauce with blueberry ready, and we've got our sautéed vegetables ready. Now for the final dish: noodle basket. Lovely. Fantastic. Grilled chicken with blueberry sauce is ready for me to eat. This is what I call a good Christmas treat. Look at this chicken. Conceptually wonderful. It's chicken cooked with blueberry. Fantastic. Let's get some sauce going with this. The wonderful thing about this chicken is that, first of all, it's unusual. You got the best of chicken. Which is herb perfectly. It does the right amount of garlic and herbs along with it. Bang! It comes this flavor of blueberry, but it's not strictly sweet. You know, the blueberry is mixing really well with the mustard. Quite a good idea. Very, very nice. Which one should I start from? Will it be the tiramisu? Will it be the New York cheesecake? Will it be the crunchy chocolate mousse? Or will it be the Belgian chocolate cake? Each one looks like it's seducing me. I'm going to start with the tiramisu. Mmm, perfect. Light, flavorsome, beautiful. Let me try the New York cheesecake. I just love New York cheesecakes. There's no shusha on this. Simple, baked, beautiful, and rich as hell. Mm, very nice. Nice, nice, thick chocolate. This is fantastic. Great meal, great season. I think we now need to spend it with great friends. Hello, hello, hello! Thank Welcome. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lovely. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Ian. Hi. Okay, this is Debbie and Ian Concesio, and thank you both for inviting me over for Christmas. Yeah. Tell me, uh, what happens typically during Christmas in your house? On a Christmas day, you'll get fugias. <laughs> fugias. The East Indian special. Okay. You get fugias. You'll get a chicken roast. Okay. You'll get a vindalo. Okay. And you'll get a whole lot of other items and lots of sweets. Lots of sweets. So, Debbie, can I bother you to cook something for us for this lovely occasion, this season, Christmas? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we should head straight into the kitchen and check out what Debbie's going to cook for us. Okay, so what are we starting with? We are starting with chicken vindalu. Chicken vindalu. Okay. So let's go for it. Vindalu for Christmas. First is we put in the mixer uh -huh. and make the paste of all the remaining ingredients other than the onion and the tomatoes. Okay, fine. You have your red chilies, the jeera, 
you got to put a lot of vinegar in this. Okay, so this is the paste that's come out of the mixer. It's already smelling very nice, sir. First, we got to do is you got to fry the onions. Okay. Okay, so you put your onions. Okay, we're starting with a lot of onion. Okay, so now I'm going to put the tomatoes in. Now when this is well fried, mm -hmm. I'll add the paste, the vindalo paste. Okay. And the paste has to be fried well. And now I can add my chicken pieces and fry it once again after putting the chicken pieces inside. Now we'll wait for about 20 minutes for the chicken to get cooked. Okay, 20 minutes for the chicken to get cooked. After which, there's only one thing left to do. Eat and sing. Now this is what I call a big, wonderful feast. The whole family has joined us at the table over here. So there's Ian's mom. Hi. Hi. I think we should start serving ourselves. Please start. Until you start first. Come on. Come on, Kunal, you taste the chicken. I'm going to start with the chicken first because that's what we made. Thank you. A few more, I think. A few more? Okay, I'll take a few more. And I'll try some of this mutton as well. Yes. It's an East Indian mutton curry. It's called mutton khuddi. Mutton khuddi, yes. This vindalu, it's perfect in the way it should be. It's got a nice spiciness and a nice yeah. tanginess because of vinegar. Yeah. And it's nice and spicy, really mm, nice and spicy. Mm. Mm. Mutton chop. Mutton chop is great. It's potato, mashed potato, stuffed with mince and then pan fried. Lovely. I'm going to take you up on something. As soon as we finish this meal, I know that you come from the, the lineage of a great musician and no Christmas is complete without a little bit of song. So I'm going to eat this, I'm going to taste the cake and then we shall sing as I want. Lovely. So this is an almond, almond cake, cake made by you. Yes. Superb. Thank you. Almond cake to top of this wonderful meal that I just eaten. Melikiliki Maka is a thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. That's the island breeding that we sent to you from the land where palm trees sway. Yeah, we know that Christmas will be green and bright. The sun will shine by day and all the stars at night. Melikiliki Maka is her wise way to say Merry Christmas to you. Well, unfortunately, that brings us to the end of this episode of Christmas. A Merry Christmas to all of you. Till the next time, it is bye.